The ultimate goal really for Snails Man is to help people, really kids, learn the importance of sales at a, at a young age. The book is about uh, two guys that are working in the bank industry, but then they start to be greedy. I'm here with Mario Davis. He is one of the exhibitors at the London Blockchain Conference. So tell us what you got here. So today we're launching Snails Man. It's a comic book series about a snail who's a salesman and he struggles to succeed in life because of his naturally sluggish ways. Thankfully, he has good friends, as you can see behind us here, who help him along the way and help him to ultimately learn that his greatest weakness, or what he thinks is his greatest weakness, which is his slow pace, is actually his greatest strength because he makes better decisions in life. And I understand it's a, a children's book, right? So what is that message that you want to teach? A lot of times when people get into sales, there's kind of this negative stigma about sales, you know? If feasts are famine, you can't earn money. If you don't make a sale, you can't make a living and, and that type of stuff. But in reality, you know, when, when kids are young, you see the lemonade stand and um, it, it's kind of the first step into what sales can be. And if you learn the proper techniques, the strategies, um, what to say, how to overcome objections, how to do your presentation, all of these things, then you can experience some success. And I think once you experience a little bit of success, it makes you want to do more. And so um, the whole goal of Snails Man is to, even though it's a comic book, there are real fundamentals um, that I learned through my mentor um, that are placed inside there. But it, it helps children get entertained, but also learn business skills that they can take with them moving forward. And what brings you here to the London Blockchain Conference? Yeah, so like, what does this have to do with, with blockchain technology? Um, so the character, I don't know if you can see him right behind you, that's Katoshi Nakamiyato. And um, he's a cat who is the greatest business cat in the world. He's all about blockchain technology. He created the first purr-to-purr -purr electronic cat nip system. While the focus is mainly on sales, it does also go into um, the technology side and that's um, a, a one-off that's called Katoshi, the Katoshi series. So um, people who are into tech, you can get that from there. Sounds great. Good luck. Thank you so much. It was really a pleasure meeting you. This is your 15th published book, Scammers. Yeah. What made you decide to write a book about this? Because there is a lot of scam out there in the stock exchange. There is a lot of inside uh, uh, deals. Look and see it, what, what comes out of, of news and media. And um, so I thought I'd, I'd dig into this. And then suddenly I found a few banks that is uh, very corrupt. Unscrupulous practices. Yes. And there are a lot of people that is through the banks are cleaning up their money which is also happening here. They start to de deal with um, the uh, Russian oligarchs and the Russian mafia, which is also infiltrating the business in the British Stock Exchange. And that takes them to a level where it becomes very dangerous. And why feature your book here at the London Blockchain Conference? I met some guys last year. The guy called me up and said, Stefan, why don't we meet in London? So here I am. It's very unusual because I'm usually go to book fairs and uh, so this is something else but it became very very good. The first three hours I think a um, little bit more than 50 books were sold and uh, so I'm happy. That's amazing congratulations and what do you think people in the blockchain space can learn uh, from reading your book? Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Great message. Thank you so much. Thank you.